Why does a sprinter slow down before the finish line? In sprint events, 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, athletes cross the finish line decelerating. Why? Because this is the best way to use his resources and his effort. This phenomenon is very clear in Usain Bolt's world record race in Berlin in 2009. The time to cover 10 meters is greater at the beginning and then decreases until 70 meters. Then it decreases again, which means that the athlete first accelerates and then decelerates. Why does the human body optimize his resources differently according to distances? Mathematicians have made models relying on mechanics, energy and motor control. They can prove that for sprint event, the best way is to start as strongly as possible, but unfortunately, the strong velocity cannot be maintained for the whole duration of the race. The athlete is unable to maintain his maximal propulsive force for the whole duration of the race. The propulsive force is reduced and so is the velocity. The winner is the one who decelerates less. Sometimes we have the impression that sprinters accelerate at the end, but it's just that the winner is always the one who decelerates less than his opponents. This is the case for all events for which the VO2, the oxygen flow, has not reached its maximum value. But for longer races, starting for 1500 meters, then the best strategy is to start strongly, run at a cruising velocity and speed up at the end.